Hi, I'm Phil from the Soundproofing Store, and today we're talking about sound absorption, also known as acoustic treatment. Now, first off, what I want to explain is the difference between sound absorption and sound proofing. This is because it's very easy to get confused between the two. We get calls every day from people trying to buy the wrong thing because they don't understand whether it's sound absorption or sound proofing that they need. So what is sound absorption and what is sound proofing? The simplest way I can think of to explain this is that sound proofing is about stopping sound from getting into or out of a space or a room. Okay, so for example, being in your home and being disturbed by sound from neighbors it's getting into your home or stopping your sound within your home from getting out and disturbing your neighbors. Sound absorption is a little different. This is about making the acoustics within that room sound better and cleaner by reducing the echo and reverberation within that space. Because when sound echoes and bounces around the space, it amplifies and becomes much noisier. So let me give you an example. Now, most of us can probably relate to at some point in our lives being somewhere like a restaurant, for example, where you're sat opposite someone trying to have a conversation and you can hardly understand what they're saying and they can barely hear what you're saying because the noise around you within the restaurant is so loud and so noisy. And the reason for this is that the surfaces of the restaurant and by that I mean the ceiling, the walls, the floor, the windows, they're hard reflective surfaces. And so any sound that's created in the restaurant from people talking, laughing, uh, you know, using their knives and forks and so on, that sound is projecting into the room, bouncing off the walls and the ceiling and the windows and coming back into the room. It's basically echoing and resonating and that amplifies the sound and makes it louder, and messier, and noisier. This can happen in all sorts of situations, not just restaurants, you can get this in offices, in village halls, in museums, sports halls, many, many other situations. Now on the other side, to give you an example of a, of a well acoustically treated space, you've also probably all been to a cinema. And the difference with a cinema is that it's very well acoustically treated. And so when you sit in that room, it's almost like you can feel the, the atmosphere change. There's absolutely no echo and reverberation in that cinema room at all. And so when the music and the sound effects of the film are playing, you can hear every single note perfectly clear. And that's the difference. So how does sound absorption actually work? Well, as I've mentioned, the problem is that sound energy will bounce off hard reflective surfaces back into the room. So the idea with sound absorption panels is that they're filled with a soft absorbing material, such as a fiber insulation in this case, which absorbs the sound and traps the sound inside. So when a sound wave hits the panel, it stays there and it doesn't bounce back into the room. Now here's a, a simple demonstration. Now it's not a scientifically accurate demonstration, but a really good visual representation of, of how it works. Now, let's say that this bouncy ball represents the energy of sound traveling around the room. And this desk represents the hard reflective surfaces of the room. Now when the sound energy hits the reflective surface, clearly it bounces back into the room. Now if we add something to that reflective surface which is soft and absorbing, such as this big soft cushion and the sound energy hits it, it stays there, it doesn't bounce back. And while on the subject of bouncy balls, one thing we can mention is that our pro sound panels do also come in a high impact range. So if you're trying to acoustically treat a space like a sports hall, where you've got footballs and tennis balls banging around, these can come as high impact, which means even when you hit them, it won't damage the panels at all. So here at the Soundproofing Store, we have a range of sound absorption panels for different applications. Our most popular is our 40mm 
Pro Sound panels. Now, these come in a bit of a variety. So these come as standard wall panels that fix directly to the wall. And a really good example of that, some keen-eyed viewers may have seen that I actually have them right behind me. And these help reduce the echo within our little video studio to make sure we get nice, clean sound for these videos. As you can see, they look very nice and they're fixed straight onto the wall. But they also come as rafts, which means they're suspended horizontally from a ceiling and absorb that sound that's traveling up and hitting the ceiling. And they also come as what we call baffles, which is where they're suspended vertically from the ceiling. These are all covered with an acoustically transparent fabric, which allows the sound to pass through the fabric and into the insulation core. And they're made to bespoke sizes, shape and color requirements. For those wanting something quick and easy, we also have our self-adhesive easy fix panels. Now these are much lighter and they adhere directly to walls or ceilings. And they have a very simple sticky back application. Very sticky back. Again, these are fabric covered and they're made to your size, shape and color requirements. Or for the more cost conscious, we also have our simple range. Now these come in set sizes and set quantity packs. They have a painted face instead of being fabric covered, all to keep the cost down, but they are also a class A absorber, so they perform to the same level. Now of course, more detail about all of these options can be found at our website. Now, in terms of performance, most of our panels are what we call a class A absorber. This means they're tested to absorb between 90 and 100% of the sound energy that hits them. And the big benefit of using class A panels is that it means you need a lot less panels within a room to achieve excellent results. So covering just 15 to 20% of your combined wall and ceiling surface area will make a huge difference in that reduction in echo and reverberation. Now, you may have seen cheap alternatives, such as these egg box style foam panels, which are very commonly seen online, and unfortunately often missold as soundproofing. Compared to our class A panels, these aren't even good enough to be classified. So that means a very high percentage of the sound that hits them does still bounce back into the room, which means even just to get a reasonable improvement, you do need to cover pretty much the entire room in these panels. Now, we bought these cheap tiles online, just to give you an example for this video. Just to show the quality, this came in a, a pack of six or seven panels, and even within that same pack, bought from the same place, there is such a variety in quality. If we compare these two, that literally came in the same pack. Now, in comparison, a key benefit of the Pro Sound panels is that they do look very smart, and again, being bespoke, they could be made to any size, color, they can even have images and logos printed on them, and could be designed to suit any room and add to the overall interior design of the space. Our panels are manufactured right here in the UK, which means that lead times are only five to 10 days from ordering, manufacturing to delivery. Hopefully this has given you a useful overview of what sound absorption is and the wide range of customizable options available. If you're looking to reduce echo and noise within a space and are unsure about which sound absorption product is best for you or how many panels you need for your space, as ever, our advice is speak to an expert, pick up the phone, give us a call, Whatever the question, we're here to help.